Glory to God. Try and be seated while we are still praying. Try and be seated while we are still praying. Isaiah 45, 22. For building your faith. Isaiah 45, verse 22. Look to me and be saved. All you ends of the earth. For I am God. And there is no order. This is a testimony of God. This is either a lie or truth. It cannot be in between. This is either a lie or truth. And he says, For I am God. And there is no order. No order like me. No order. So when we say Michael, which is Mikael in Hebrew, is, it strikes at the very core and nature and power and ability and divinity of God. Who is like God is not about God. Who is like God is God himself that is at, at work. Who is like God is not a question around God or about God. You can talk about God, but you can talk God. So this is invocation and provocation of all there is about God at the highest level and specific level. It says, for I am God. And there is no other. So Michael brings God to every situation. Not in parts. Not in pieces. But in totality. Who is like God gets God involved in a situation. Not in parts. Not in pieces. But in totality complete God himself says there is no order it's either God is lying or this is the truth and if this is not true then Jesus did not come in the flesh he did not die he did not rise he did not save me then there is no salvation then I'm a liar and all preachers are liars so this is the truth against which everything that you mention, that you bring to the table in this season, this is the truth against which it must, it will either stand or will die and perish. This is confrontation with divinity at the most innermost and uppermost and highest level. Is a yes or no question. Anyone like God, God says there is no other. Who can make an objection? Who can raise an objection? Which sickness, having said this, and there is no other. And sickness will say, sorry, there is another. I am the one. Or a chain, or a bondage, or addiction, or a yoke, or a condition, a circumstance, a situation. A principality, a power can say, okay, God has said it, but just to say that he's not right because I am like him, I am God. In history, there is none. In the written books, in the written word, in the books, there is none. Now, there is none. I am aware of it. I know it. I'm a witness. That there is none. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 49, and verse 19. We are trying to find out what God Himself says concerning this matter. What? This is not something about God. This is God Himself. I say, Mikael is not about a talk, 
about God. It's not a message about God. It's God as the talk. It's God as the message. It's God as the issue. So Mikael is not issues about God. It's not things about God. It's about, it is God himself as the issue, as the message, as the power. It is not the power of God. It is God as power. He said, Behold, it shall come up like a lion from the flood plain of the Jordan against the dwelling place of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? Who will arraign me? Who will put me in a dock and ask me questions? Who will summon me to court and make me present verdict and evidence? Which condition will judge me? Who will arraign me? EFCC can arraign a man. ICPC can arraign a man. Federal government can, a state government can. So who, 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 which kingdom, which principality, which power, which territory, which ancestry, which historical figure and circumstance, who will arraign me? And who is that shepherd who will withstand me? Who is it? These are questions you have to ask things, ask principal spirits, ask influences, ask reoccurring situations, ask pain, ask addiction, ask depression, ask things that suddenly pops up and divides. Something that divides and distributes. We saw Pesha yesterday as a revelation, Pesha beyond being a territory, Pesha is a revelation of that which divides and distributes. Divide strength, divide wealth, divide health, and distributes among different sickness and diseases. That which takes the health of a man divides, gives part to diabetes, give the other one to hypertension and give the other peace to whatever and give the other peace to whatever. That is special. That which divides, diminishes and then distributes. Distribute parts to the marine. Distribute the other one. And it's a, it's a, which craft is in charge of that one? It's, oh, or cult kingdom is in charge of that one. And Pesha is that, is that mystery, is that being, is that, that spirit that divides. Breaks apart, divides, and then distributes. Thereby diminishing and decreasing. Reducing what was significant into insignificant. So what is the Pesha that over time, what kingdom, what principality, what power, what influence, what experience, what beings, what circumstances, what situations divides, breaks you apart in different dimensions of life, then distributes you among different stakeholders of darkness. Breaks marriage and divide. Breaks children and divide. Some giving to cause. Some giving, giving to addiction in drugs. Some giving to all sorts of things. And therefore, what was supposed to rule the earth does not rule. And it's ruled by thing. That's the pressure. So the point is this. this. This encounter season may not benefit you much until you identify. Like we say, write down specifically. Write down either in your in your paper or just something that you, it is there. You wake up, you know this is what you are dealing with. And we have been fasting. So for those who didn't take it seriously, there's no problem. Maybe let's wait for another season. But for you, trusting God that you are here. And I stand here today, being the first day of December, intentionally that the grace of the prevailing move of God this season will come to the help of partners and partnership, those who stand raising my hand like Aaron and Hall, 
so that Moses' hand will not come down so that battles will be won in the valley. So I'm asking questions concerning the lives and destinies of those partners who intentionally are standing to refresh, to encourage, to strengthen. If God permits us for those who came with all will end with anointing. Otherwise, this, this, this moment suffices. I'm standing here that the energy of God's word, the proof of his word, that there is no shepherd. A shepherd is the one that watches, the one who watches whatever shepherd that is contrary. No one like me. No one comparable. I just want you, before we move into the revelation as message of the day, I just want you to rise with the understanding of Pesha as what divides, as what takes by storm, divides and then distributes. Those are the three things we took away from understanding of Pesha, of Persis yesterday. What takes by storm? And many of us in different ways have been taken by storm by things. Things we were not prepared for. Things we were not aware of. Things. Things out of ignorance. Things out of, out of sheer ignorance and negligence and not, not understanding. And those powers took people by storm and then divided them there by diminishing them and, there, and then distributed them among the hands of stakeholders of destruction. Now, this moment is the finest of God's glory for your moment. Address those special situation. Who is like God? And God says, none is like him. Then take God. I'm not talking about the power of God. I'm not to, I say God himself available in Christ for it is said in him is found the fullness of divinity in bodily form. So take Jesus as God in the flesh available for there is no other name given by which we may be served. And at the name of Jesus, every name, every name, take no address special address something whether it's a medical something or academic something or professional something or career something or political whatever is the thing address it but who is like god let the one who is like god stand and the one who is not like god then die then be cut into pieces then be destroyed You have some two minutes to do that. Who is like God? Ask something a question. Ask what says there is no marriage. Ask what says if there is no marriage, there is no peace. Ask what says if there is marriage, no children. Ask what decrees that if there are children, they are sick. Ask what says if there is business, then there is no profit. Ask what says if there is profit, then it is wasted. Ask what says the mighty will be useless. Ask what says the brilliant will be dumb. Ask what says the excellent will be mediocre. Just address something. Who is like God? Who is like God? Who is like God? Speak face to face. Make sure it is face to face. Who can stand when the Almighty is involved? And this is about the Almighty. This is not a season about the Almighty. This is about the Almighty as the season. This is Almighty as a season of redemption. This is Almighty as a season of restoration. This is almighty uh, as restore, as salvation, as breaking forth and changing and turning around. What is it that stands in December? What stands at the gates of 2024? What says there will be carryover of useless stories? What says that cases will not be resolved uh, but will be perpetuated? Throughout the endless 
and you should. You will be crowned with precious Lord. Most high. Exalted in every nation. You are the sovereign of all creation, Lord. Halaboshi malabosi and a prakan. Katomati prele kata. Sia mason dot of it. La capala mosoto prekna. La capala mosoto prekapala kata. Mosonda kata. Sia ndoto prekna. Masoto prekata. La caposhe kata. Limandoto prekna. Sato la kata. Malabasi kata. He said, Look to me and be saved. So talk to me and be saved. All you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. Look to me. Trust me and be saved. This is what God says. All you ends of the earth. If you look to me, you will be saved. Because I am God and there is no other. So I cannot save you and another will hold you. That's what it means. So God cannot save you and another stops you. God cannot raise you and another brings you down. God cannot turn your life around and another will reverse it. God cannot say release and another say keep. God cannot say healed and another say sick. No. There is just one and there is no other. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be seated. Let's look at, just have a look at the prince of Persia and his works. Today we are going to look at the prince of Persia and how he works. The workings of the Prince of Persia. Because knowledge avails. Knowledge gives you opportunity for application. When you know. The next thing is that you know what to do. Everything being equal. What you don't know you cannot deal with. Knowledge gives you options. In application, in engagement. Knowledge should bring understanding and understanding should bring application. Application should bring about results. So it begins with knowledge. Knowledge is availability of information that is assessed and taken in, appropriated. Daniel chapter 10, verse 10 to 13. Daniel chapter 10, from verse 10 to 13, suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees. And on the palms of my hands and he said to me oh daniel man greatly beloved greatly esteemed understand the words that i speak to you and stand upright for i have now been sent to you everything changes when god sends families wait for god to send Every prayer is about God sending. God sending changes season and times. And the work of the enemy is either that God does not send. That means first of all, somebody does not humble himself, does not ask God. That's why he's sure of waking up and asking, declaring a time of seeking God. You may take it for granted, but some people, for some people, it is near impossibility. Some people die and are buried just because the time they should have sought God, they did not. Because the law is that those who seek shall find. And so the enemy works, number one, don't seek God because when you humble yourself like Daniel and seek God, God will send. Number two, if you humble yourself and seek and then let there be intervention to cause delay. Can you see people? A lot of people hopeless and useless they are seeking people, seek prophets, 
seek churches seek altars seek men seek human names but they cannot seek god so if you have had the grace of seeking god don't take it for granted because it begins with seeking god daniel sought god and the angel say i have now been sent what is going to change a generation comes from men and women seeking god and as a result god sending and then when it arrives generations are changed the philosophers of our time the scientists of our time the free thinkers of our time and the social media workers of our time may make it look like it is nonsense nonsensical this january is coming into february different churches and platforms ministry platforms going to different days seven days 14 days 21 days 40 days 50 days of seeking god and people will say it's nonsense instead of seeking god and fasting and praying i rather learn a skill i rather do this i rather do that and a lot of people just wake up and say but by the way that's what i should have done instead of praying but it is not either you pray or you learn a skill it's not either you pray or you study the building of the wall was one hand people were building mixing mortar and one hand they were wielding weapon what's wrong with that there's something wrong with that so these are things making it creeping into the hearts of people and minds of people so in a time of desperation like we are going through a lot of people just feel it's a waste of time so why do i waste my time thinking we we know what to do we know this time you know i met i met unfortunately a priest a chaplain of the nigerian army i was attending a training at some moment i think in lagos a man who had been ordained into the sacred priesthood and a chaplain of people said it was nonsense to so he, 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 he explained logically how can i have fifty thousand naira and i say if i give that fifty thousand naira go what nonsense he just made it look like it was such a nonsense thing and i just said that i have not forgotten how it looks like because i was surprised that there was a living man on earth who now who was who was self, who was supposed to be a servant of god in a priesthood but would think about and talk about god in such careless way and so these things can come from even preachers and altars and places that seeking god is nonsense and all of that actually it is the work of satan it is the work of satan because people can have all the te technological innovations and advancement and then human life become replaceable human life becomes dispensable like needle that you use once and drop but when you ask god god says let us make man so man is the value He said, oh Daniel, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright for I have now been sent to you. It means things will change. This season, there is a sending that nothing will stop in the name of Jesus. If your location is in a prison, there is a sending. And the sending carries the inscription, who is like God. If your location is in hell, and you are hearing me there is a sending and the inscription that it bears is like who is like god in hell if you are in sin and sinfulness in addiction in you are in the throes of death you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death there is a sending and the sending bears the mark who is like god who if you are hopeless and you if you are planning to die if you are suicidal there is a sending and the sending is asking a question who is like god and if it is cancer we say i'm sorry i'm not like god i'm by if it is suicide the same thing everything that is keeping your life right now there is a sending and the sending carries the inscription who is like god and because it is not like god it ends now in the name of jesus
I mean now. That's what I meant. I mean now. I'm not talking about one week later. I'm talking about now. Now as in now. Now as in present. Now. Glory to God. Be seated. Then he said to me, do not fear, Daniel. Verse 12. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words, your words were heard. And I have come because of your words. I, I don't know whether we have time to gather these pieces. What words do you speak? Because the words you speak provoke a sending. Yes, you are going through something and you are in the midst of something, but what words? Because the sending is in accordance with the words. La boshi kata, le kata palakanda, la boshi kata. There is a sending. A young man that is here, I don't know whether he's here for salvation. He's here in every service. But the way I look at him, he just looks like he has a different agenda. I want to have a meeting with him after this service. If he's coming here, he's not for salvation. I will banish him from coming here. I don't know what he represents. I cannot be preaching here and somebody is doing some other business, moving up and down. Like he's walking here. What, what work are you doing here? After service, bring him to me. Let me meet him for the first time. I think his stay in this place is coming to an end. There is a covenant over this place. So if you are coming here with any other motive other than God, you are the enemy. And there are some enemies you don't need to fast and pray about. You deal with them physically. As, as a minister, I know the difference between the two. He said, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. Because of your words. Say the issues of seeking God is about words. Hannah spoke words spoke words that Eli had no comprehension spoke words beyond the reach of Ekana and Penina spoke words into realm, the realm of God and Samuel came rise and speak words who is like God concerning this and there there is a corresponding sending in response to warnings, Katala Brakata, Masonda Kanda, Leba Soto Lakata. Let's take some times and send words, sir. So this season you rise at midnight and send words. This season you rise quarterly around the night and send words. This season in your fasting and prayer, you send words. For there is a response. Katala Brakanda. Shala Boshima Kata Labra Sopele Kanda Laboshe Katama Soto Lakata Lema Kato Preala Masondo Topre Kanda Masondo Topre Kata There is nothing between a Lakata The blessing of God sent and the arrival What has been sent by God arrives This call is as God said it this call now is as God said it. This call now is as God said it. Nothing in between. Nothing. Malabashakando. 
la bosekata malakata masoto speak into the realm of god and let water hear you speak into the realm of god and let the air hear you speak into the realm of god and let barrenness hear you speak into the realm of god and let confusion hear you speak into the realm of god and let pain hear you speak into the realm of god and let addiction hear you speak into the realm of god and let darkness hear you speak into the realm of god and let losses hear you. Kato la brakman. Zapa la boshe kata. Lebra sota. Malakanda. Lebra kapala kato yata. Maso maknanda. Lama to pre kata. Lema si braknando. Maliato mesi brakato. Mande kete malo tata tata tata. Mando to lea. Salvation will not stop her. Issuing forth from this altar, Melia Tata, ta. cleanness is the color, holiness and righteousness, the raiment and the garments of this altar, Masikata, purity and dignity, Malabrakanda, the divine structure and configuration of this altar malakata abundance in salvation abundance in provision abundance in vision abundance like palata in mission the expression of this altar malakata i speak into december malakata stable in glory and asiata I speak into December stable in security Malabrakata I speak into December stable in safety I speak into December stable in health stable in health stable in provision ah Throughout the endless ages, you will be crowned with praises, Lord. Most high, Kaposha Katana, Kaposha exalted in every nation, and you are the sovereign of all creation, Lord. Most high. Throughout the endless ages, Malikato Preknana, you will be crowned with praises, Lord. Abasota, most Lakata Poshekata Labrakata, exalted in every nation, Malabrak, and you are the sovereign of all creation Lord most be magnified glory glory God says as I have heard you as you speak in my hearing that's how it's going to be I will do that very thing which I hear you speak ka ta 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 there is a sending asked hannah hannah spoke and there was a sending there was a sending in the name of jesus christ and whatever had been sent in previous speakings even in previous generations of seekers who spoke and missions were sent but there have been intervening forces interfering with timeline and leaving the sons and daughters of men bereft of what has been sent tonight there is another sending Kato masipra kata, 
Lekanda. In previous speaking, Soto, and what had been sent as a result of previous words, and even this words, but there had been delays because of the activities and the operations of Persis, of Persia, and princes of Persia. Now, good news is this there is another sending in the name of Jesus. And this other sending carries inscription who is like God. It means if what has been standing against the other sending is like God, let it stand. If it is not like God, let it die. 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 The sending of God will not fail. Kata ta Malaboshe brekata, malabrose knanda, malabose brekata, lama so breknanda, la kaposha kata, malabose brekata, malabra kaposhe kata, manda topele kata, malaboshe breknanda, malaboshe brekata, lama si breknanda, la pakato, soto brekata. Le maknanda, maka poshe kato, maka poshe kata, malabra knanda, sato lo brakata, londo to brakata, labra knanda, malabra kata, malabra knanda, loso to le makata, malabra knanda, mando to brakapa, lama soto pre, manda kata, labra kata. The sending of God will produce result in the name of Jesus. Be seated. There is a certainty when the first sending and previous sendings have been hanging. And you may say, God has not answered my prayer. No, God says, I've answered your prayer. It's just that another generation has to keep speaking and speak in such on with such understanding. That there will be another sending. You see, if you read the story of Daniel, it's a story of perseverance and doggedness. It's a story of either God answers me or he answers me. It's a story of my help shall come from the Lord for there is no other. You see, you can seek for a season and if it doesn't look like what you expected you change you change strategy well this prayer thing doesn't work this waiting on the Lord thing doesn't work let me try my hands on other options of help I'm not talking about legitimate help I'm talking about help instead of God but Daniel just had one way one formula one direction he said, from the first day, do not be afraid. Verse 12, very, very, very revealing. Do not fear, Daniel. For from the first day, the first day, there was a sending. But Daniel said, until it arrives, until it arrives, I'm still praying. This is how the second sending comes. When there is a refusal to quit speaking. And I told you, yeah. you see, if you fail after prayer, it doesn't mean God has failed. So there is no way God can say, oh, if I don't do something for this person now, it will be proven that I'm not faithful. It will be proven that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, so let me just, no. God is a God of principle. Does it matter? Is it important? Then stay on. 
Is it the will of God? I'm not saying praying outside the will of God. Praying outside the will of God will bring response. It's just that it's going to come in a different direction. But because every seeking, if you are seeking and you are outside the will of God, that prayer will be answered. Just that the results will not carry the mark you were looking for. But if you are convinced this is the will of God for you, if it is the will of God, and five years it does not come, it is a time to start. There is no ending. Why? That staying on is the secret of the mission, the sending again. So there are two sendings that will change generation, that will redefine destinies. Two sendings. The sending that comes from the words that have been spoken initially. And the sending that comes from the words that persistently go forth from the one who had been speaking. The word of God says, let he who mentions the name of God, <laughs> don't give him rest. I have set watchmen on your towers. Let those who mention the name of God not give him rest. God has permitted that you give him no rest. I have not given anybody that permission. But God has given it open permission. Give him no rest. Give him no rest. Give him no rest. Say, I have come because of your words. Verse 13. Verse 13. But the prince of the government of Pesha, the prince of the rulership of Pesha, of the kingdom that takes by storm, divides and distributes. So even the heavenly one who is sent by God was taken by storm by the government that takes by storm, divides and distributes. But the prince of Pesha, the prince of the kingdom of Pesha withstood me 21 days. I want you I want to talk a little bit about prince and withstanding. But just know a little bit about 21 days. 21 is a combination of 7 and 3. 3 raised to power 7 or 7 raised to power, seven, power 3. Each of these two numbers speaks of perfection. 7 is perfection at creation level. Everything at the created level is reduced to seven. And then three talks about perfection in the divine realm. Father, Son, and the Spirit. So when the scripture is talking about 21 days, you may think of literal calendar 21 days. The scripture is playing with something deeper. It's talking about the length that on earth is recognized as long and even in heaven is recognized as long that the physical world understands that this is a long time this delay medical people will say this delay I'm tired of it judges will say this case has been there I'm tired of it and conditions, financial experts, lawyers, men and women, situations, I'm tired. This is long. And in the realm of the heaven, the angels know this is long. Said, so let's do something, this is long. There can be a length of time that is recognized by you, but not recognized by creation. Oh, you pray for some time, you just feel it's too long. I have prayed about this for too long. That is you. But the scripture is talking about length of time at two levels of perfection at the earthly creational level and at the heavenly eternal level. So that it, it, 
it takes the attention of God by the way somebody has been praying that the angels notice oh somebody has been seeking that the heavenly empire the, uh, the heavenly imperium the, the heavenly hall and the attendance of the throne they recognize there has been a persistent voice and the kingdom of hell knows there is somebody who has refused to give up and sickness refuses sickness acknowledges that somebody still believes that healing will come that darkness knows there is somebody who is bent on terminating the reign of darkness that's what the scripture is talking about it's like praying in and in and it's like praying ton ton praying in an in an in an in an means praying deaf 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 like you are not hearing anything you don't hear tiger you don't hear too much it's like you are praying foolishly and somebody just so, so you that means you you cannot be tired when you are tired you pray like you are tired but you are still praying when somebody testifies it reminds you to pray when somebody is doing thanksgiving you begin to pray again when you hear somebody who says he's suffering from the same condition it makes you pray you say I will not die like others when you hear somebody that say oh that situation nobody has been able to overcome it so so and so ended with that condition then you start praying again i will be the first person i don't know when i'm talking to somebody this is a condition that the earth cannot manage heaven cannot manage this is in an in an kind of prayer you know this is 21 days like now the prince of Persia knows something that when you have been taken by storm and divided it means you are diminished you are no longer strong and distributed you are likely to quit but Daniel said I am still here yes it has not yet come but I know I know I know Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 10 Likata Tototo Mandakata when you know for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth and board that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater and so shall my word that goes forth because when we are seeking ultimately we are seeking the word of God to go forth when he says help him that is the word and help will come when he says deliver her and the deliverance will, when he says heal him so when he says heal him no matter how many kingdoms of Persia and how many princes standing there uh, God says I don't expect my word to come back God is not in the habit of eating his word he does not eat back his word once his word leaves him his word does not return the result of his word returns Alakata. Lamakando Soto. God knows what his word is supposed to do in your life. God knows what his word has been designed to accomplish in your life. But the point is this. Are you, are you staying there? Like Daniel knowing us. If it takes me through the lion den, the lion's den, I will still be there. If it takes me through the fire, I will still be there. Malabra Kanda except it's not the will of God and if it's not the will of God then the word will bring me another thing which is the will of God ah. Andi yamonoto mandata 
Anibala mondo prachnana. Mando to pray, mando to pray kata. Meson de teya. Maso to meli abrachnana. Mondo to manda pala masi pray kata. Meya no to afo. Ele mando to mano. He and the Lebosiman, the land of Yatato. He and Masoto Precata, the Akando, Sepala Masoto, Ele Lemoso Mandala Cata, Manolo Mosso Manamone Abasa, Lato Mea Balamoso Precata, Mea La Bosata, Malamosoto, Afikon Riobo. You alone are God. You alone deliver. You alone rescue. You alone free. You alone heal. You alone. You alone. Only you, only you, only you, only you. Palele Bosanda. Shalabore Alakata. Alabrose Akata Prakata. Mandoko Preakata. Lemaso Manda. Let the walls fall, for you are the only one. Let kingdoms fall, for you are the only one. Let rivers be parted, and let oceans be dried up. Let the wind be held captive. Let the sun stand still, and let the moon stay in the valley of Angela. For you alone, you alone, you alone are God. Abraka poshata samakando manandele ya maso mandata mandele bo se pala mande ato lo brasi anda katala mando mande ya maso me anda ta ele ya maso mando te mani ya mani mando te ya mando te pala maso pre mande ya maso pre le bati ya kato. Messi and Atala Brakmanda, Malabosse Precatala Masondo, Ea Palabosse and Ata, Malobro Labacana, and the Mondo Toliande. I expect eyes to be opened I expect ears to be opened up. I expect strength to be imparted. I expect lights to shine. I expect life to be imparted. I expect the resurrection in your soul. I expect the regeneration of destiny. I expect the report that the grave can no longer hold you because there is no one like God. I expect that chains cannot hold you because there is no one like God. I expect that death can no longer kill because there is no one like God. I expect barrenness to expire because there is no one like God. I expect Shaul to give up his death. Ala boshe manda, manda boshe mani ele boshe ana. La masondo to mana pala masonia, manda tata tori a mani preli kata. It is the kingdom of death that will die, not Yahweh, because no one is like him. It is the spirit of the death that will disappear, not Yahweh, because there is no one like him. Oh, Alakata. It is the marine that will burn and be crushed forever, overtaken and crushed. 
because there is no one like our Alama no tori alama sita Afu ngafu 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 There is situation. Ask that question. Who is like God here? Who is like God in this grave? Hold me. Who is like God in the marine? Stop me. Who is like God in this territory? Stop me. Who is like God in the air? Stop me. And because you are not like God, be broken. 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 Be broken.
across speak to sickness God says I am healed and I am waiting and while I wait I am speaking God says I am fruitful and I am waiting because his word will not be eaten back so my fruitfulness and whatever stands in between then there is another sending and that sending is who is like God because there is no one like God my fruitfulness has arrived because there is no one like God my health and recovery if you have been waiting for the opportunity now this is the acceptable time speak until there is another sending if the first sending had not arrived speak there is another sending michael comes after the first angel his word will not return raw it returns as result is a law Kappa. god says healed that word will not go back it is healing report that will go back kataya kanda god says rescue that word will not go back it is rescue as a testimony that will go back. Lomakanda Sato la cape, lima katata, malabra panda. Is either God hears me or he hears me? Malabra panda, la boshata. Because after sending, there is another sending. Either the first angel brings it or Michael comes. If the first angel has been detained, then Michael has come. And Michael is a provocation of divinity. Who is like God? Who can stop his will? Who is like God? Who can stop his vision? Who is like God? Who can stop his motive? Who is like God? The counsel of the Lord will stand. Oh, oh, oh. Alaboshiana Mande Polianda Tato. Oh, 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 Arrows are leaving your mind. Arrows are leaving your emotion. Arrows are leaving your intestine. Arrows are leaving. Arrows of cancer. Arrows of ulcer. Arrows of diabetes. Arrows of depression. Arrows of stagnation. Arrows of death. Arrows of death. Arrows of failure. Arrows of diseases. They are leaving you now. Arrows of losses. Oh, oh, I love ocean. Oh, 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 The son of the pregnant. Manda Tato, Yamande Yala. 
Lemele ya mando tome yanda Mando tome lianda poli yanda Malabase kata Le kata tata Ya tata This is our victory over the world Even our faith La kata Our faith That if the first one is hanging Then Michael comes La kata Malabraka poshata and certainly Michael will come Labraknanda for God does not take back his word Malanda to Limesunda who is like God the walls are breaking apart who is like God the power of hell is breaking apart who is like God the tension has been broken who is like God delay has been broken who is like God shame has been broken who is like God Reproach has been broken. Who is like God? Barrenness has expired. Conception takes place because there is no one like God. Confront by God. Confront them by God. Question them by God. Overcome them by God. Prevail by God. Someone will die but not God. Everything that pretends to be God, everything that says you shall not go, everything that says after God has saved you, you are not saved, everything that says after God, after God has delivered you, you are not delivered, that is the one that will die. Not you. That is the one that will be destroyed. Not the word of God. Afo, 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 Afo. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no keeper like you, Lord. There is no deliverer like you, Lord. No one exalted like you, Lord. I feel born and young. No one saves like you. No one forgives like you. No one changes like you. I feel born and young. No one delivers like you. No one saves like you. No one turns around like you. No one vindicates like you. No one justifies like you. No one justifies like you. No one promotes like you. No one exalts like you. No one surrounds like you. No one encompasses like you. No one ransoms like you. No one heals like you. I fall. I fall. I fall. I fall. I fall. No one shakes situations like you. No one raises the dead like you. No one breaks the grave like you.
No one is faithful like you. No one is true like you. No one is true like you. If you came with oil for anointing, bring it up. I speak impartation. I speak power and fire upon the oil to bring forth the second mission. Who is like God? I speak that this oil has a name. Who is like God? The oil carries inscription. Who is like God? The anointing is the declaration. Who is like God? The anointing is a provocation. Who is like God? The anointing is a section. Who is like God? Upon partners and partnership. Who is like God? Upon seekers and seeking children. Who is like God? Upon those who are fasting and praying. Who is like God? Upon the family waiting for children. Who is like God? Upon somebody waiting to make money. Who is like God upon somebody who's breaking out of addiction? Who is like God in the name of Jesus Christ? And the answer is there is no one like God. The little oil in your right hand, place it on your forehead uh, and begin to speak. Uh, no one is like God in my life. Therefore, no one is like God in my life. Uh, therefore, mention therefore word. Uh, no one is like God. Dash, dash, dash. No one is like God. Therefore, dot, dot, dot. Begin to speak. It is time of turn around. The champion of the whole side. Do not stop talking, do not stop. My destiny In you alone I make my goals Alabosha You reign alone Kata posha kata Labra kaposha kata Malia The champion of The whole Halabosha and Captain O Masangato, my destiny, Kapole Mandat, in you alone, I make my goals. Halabo, you reign alone. The champion of the whole Sabo. My destiny In you alone I speak my words Ha! You reign alone Do not stop speaking La Bosha Manda to Prelekata Declare who is like God Ask the princes of darkness who is like God. Ask the princes of memoration who is like God. Ah, I, I challenge the princes of Uyo who is like God. I challenge the princes of Akwaibumste who is like God. I challenge the princes of South South who is like God. I challenge the princes of Southwest and Southeast who is like God. I challenge the princes of Northwest, Northeast, and North Central. Who is like God? I challenge the princes of Africa from the West Africa, Central, East, Southern, and Northern Africa. I challenge who is like God. Ah, la bosha dara, marubre yada. I challenge the, the princes of Ogos. Who is like God? I challenge the princes of the Marine. I challenge Olumba Lumba Bull Spirit. Who is like God? 
I challenge principalities and powers over the territory. Who is like God? I challenge women. Who is like God? I challenge the whole world of a cause and cause. Who is like God? I challenge the kingdom and the prince of hell. Who is like God? I challenge the enemy of God. Who is like God by Jesus? If you are like God, stand up. If you are not like God, be buried. Be buried. Let everything build upon you, fall apart. Who is like God? Let him stand up. Who is not like God? Let him fail and let him fall. Let prisoners be released. 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 Let, let the roads be saved. Let homes be saved. Marriages be restored. Show them delivered and blessed. Ah! No one like God. The captain of my destiny. destiny. In you alone. Celebrate Yahweh. Celebrate Yahweh. No one like him. No one after him. No one before him. No one by him. No one was him. He's alone by himself, God. Today, today and forever. In the dream, there is no one like God. In the world, there is no one like Yahweh. In the kingdom of Satan, in different gods and of God, different societies and realms, no one like Yahweh. Shout it! So Amen. that is correct, no one like God. Amen. That is correct in your family. Amen. No one like Yahweh. That is true in the marriage. No one like Yahweh. That is correct as you are going. No one like Yahweh. That is true on the road. In your traveling, in your mobility. No one like Yahweh. That is correct in your marriage. That is correct in your children. That is correct in your fruitfulness. That is correct in your rising. That is correct in your sleeping. That is correct when you sleep. That is correct when you are awake. No one like Yahweh. That is correct in the office. That is correct at home. That is correct on the That is correct everywhere. In the air. In the land. In the sun, in December, on the first day, the second day, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth, the nineteenth, the twentieth, the twenty-first, the twenty-second, twenty-third, twenty-fourth, the twenty-fifth, twenty-sixth, twenty-seventh. In the 28th, 29th, and 30th, and in the 31st of December, no one like Yahweh. In the Christmas season, no one like Yahweh. In the New Year, no one like Yahweh. No carryover, no one like Yahweh. No carryover, no one like Yahweh. No one like Yahweh. No carryover, no carryover, no one like Yahweh. No carry of sin, no one like Yahweh. No carry of death, no one like Yahweh. No carry of reproach, no one like Yahweh. No carry of darkness, no one like Yahweh. No carry of 
Yes, no one like Yahweh. No carry about destruction. No one like Yahweh. No carry about tears. No one like Yahweh. declare no one like God no one like God there has never been there is none there will never be no one 